So today we're gonna go over the drum beat for Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. So it's pretty much the same thing the whole time, uh, even through the bridge, same drum beat. There is a shaker sample and a clap sample. You'll notice it come in throughout the song. The shaker is pretty much going the whole time. The clap sample just comes in a few times. But we're gonna focus on the drum beat and it goes just like this. So, pretty simple drum beat, right? Let's break it down. The hi-hat, you're gonna be accenting the downbeats. So the one, two, three, four. So that's an eighth note drum pattern on the hi-hat. Those are eighth notes, right? But on the downbeat, which is the quarter notes, you're playing it just a little bit harder. So the, the eighth note, the second eighth note, is a little bit softer. Right, and you wanna get that super comfortable, so just practice the drum beat over and over. You can practice with just the high, just the high hat alone. With the metronome, obviously. Uh, I forgot to mention, this song is at 116 BPM. Super important. Um, yeah, you're really gonna wanna practice this drum beat with the metronome. Um, practice the each of the elements alone with the metronome. I would recommend, if you can't get the whole drum beat at first, try doing the hi-hat with just the snare or the hi-hat with just the kick, so something like this. Or if you're just practicing with the snare, it would be one. Together again, we have the beat, and you can even do it without the hi hat. So just the kick snare. One, two, three, four. Right, and then bringing in all those elements together, right, one at a time. That's how I've always learned, and I think that helps for any drummer just starting off and I mean even to this day right if I'm learning something new it's bring all the elements together especially with something super tricky um, you know you have you're using four limbs on the drum set so you want to bring all those limbs in independently train one limb at a time one limb at a time until that limb just pretty much does it automatically and then you can bring in the next limb and then you have them all working together um, another thing on this song, Billie Jean, is the drummer will bring in the open hi-hat a few times, so playing that drum beat, you'll hear like a So that is something you can practice again when you're doing, if you're just working on the hi-hat alone. practice bringing in the lifted left foot um, at different points. So I would recommend just listening through the song. And this drummer is super subtle. And this is, I think, once you get to a higher level of drumming, you start to really notice the subtleties and how drumming is not about showing off or playing more notes. Right, like this song is a perfect example. Billie Jean, the drummer is just straight away grooving the whole time. And he he's really not doing anything extra, but that groove is tight. That groove is tight, 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 tight. So that's something to, if there's anything to take away from this video, I would say some of the best drummers playing on the best records ever made are just the tightest drummers doing their job to the best of their ability and to the best of anyone's ability. These are the best drummers of all time, just doing the simplest drum groove ever, or one of them. But, so what you could take from that is listen to how the drummer in Billie Jean 
plays that drum beat. Use your ears. Use those ears, okay? That's why I'm, we that's why I'm wearing my uh, earplugs right now, because when I play drums, you guys know it's very loud, and that affects your eardrums. I want to keep my ears safe.